Hello, everybody, and welcome to Archetypes Countdown to Splash. We are at week eight. One thing I often hear from our customers is, hey, Jason, you guys have great people. And I, I agree. We've got great people who've been here a long time. We've got new people joining, and we're excited about our staff. And this is a chance for you guys to meet a few of our staff and hear what's going on at Archetype. So this week, week eight, we've got Stephen Davis joining us. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you. Appreciate uh, being here. It's good to have you. How's the weather in Texas? I hear it's pretty hot down there. It is hot. It uh, doesn't uh, let up uh, in Texas, especially in the summertime. But we've had a lot of water. It's been raining a ton this year. For uh, this yeah. time of year, we're usually in the 110s with no rain in sight. And we've actually had a good wet spring. Well, hang in there. November is almost there. You will see, it'll be <laughs> yes. cold soon. So, Stephen, why don't you um, just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you landed up in the CPM industry? So, my uh, road to CPM is a lot different than most people. I actually have a more technical background. I uh, worked for Pro Systems for ten years, doing everything from server administration to database. Um, administration, web design, and thus um, ended up, uh, I was going to go work for a company called Raza. When they got uh, acquired by Hyperion, I ended up going into that acquisition with all the Raza guys and, um, you know, was with Hyperion for a couple of years doing the MDM implementations when Hyperion got uh, acquired by Oracle. So went through two acquisitions within four years. And then, um, you know, was working for Oracle. Again, they rebranded re Raza to the name DRM. And I've been working with um, MDM DRM for about 12 years when I uh, made the switch over to um, OneStream and started doing OneStream implementations. Nice. And now you're working on some early stage marketplace solutions around MDM, right? Correct. I've done uh, implementation or a, uh, I've created a um, dashboard where uh, users can bulk upload mass amount of changes so they don't have to manually go in and make, you know, updates to their metadata. They can easily, you know, upload a spreadsheet of changes that uh, may take them five minutes to make those changes as opposed to taking a day to make those changes. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, in financial services or banking or even high tech, I've seen customers change their hierarchies dramatically on a quarterly or monthly basis based on sales territories, et cetera. So that's a big deal. Wait, yeah, just making point. name changes can take, you know, hours of an admin going in and making those changes. And I've made it very simple to just upload those changes, hit the button and makes those and has an audit trail. So if we want to make some changes in UAT and then move those changes over to production, we can easily, you know, download those changes to a CSV file and then upload that CSV file into production. Very cool. So tell me about the moment that you determined that OneStream was kind of the, the, the right partner in the space? You know, um, I got to help with the Fibrogen implementation two years ago, and I hadn't done a lot of CPM implementations on the application side, I would say. Most of it was just in DRM, and I'd worked with, you know, the uh, – consolidation tools and the planning tools, the GLs, I'd interface with them, but hadn't really worked with them. And I was able to help with Fibrogen, really jumping in, loading up their metadata, getting in and do their uh, data sources and transformation rules, and then start helping with all of the um, you know dashboards. And I really like the technology and how easy it is to code in, you know, Visual Basic, uh, VB.net, uh, it, it's very easy to make changes to things and just easily um, do whatever you want to do. So if you want to code and you can code in VB.net, it's very easy to, you know, send out emails or, you know, make a image pop up, 
create a button, you know, to do whatever really you want to do. Um, and I yeah, realized and the power at that point was uh, very, uh, very powerful. Yeah. And then uh, Fibrogen's a super happy customer, a big success. Um, I know there's more in the, in the future for for us and Fibrogen together. Um, so tell me, looking forward to Splash, August, September, uh, what's what's kind of your priorities for the conference? What are you excited about? Definitely want to do the uh, 5K run. That's it. Getting up at, you know, seven o'clock in the morning and running, you know, a 5K after going out the night before, hanging out with clients. It's a highlight of my entire, you know, splash uh, event, uh, especially on the third day after, you know, I've had three nights out. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, I, I really enjoy, you know, rubbing elbows with the other clients and seeing uh, my current clients and being able to hang out with them, especially after COVID, where we've been working remotely uh, for so long. Um, my past four clients, I've never actually met in person. It's all been over, you know, Zoom meetings or team meetings or uh, it's just virtual. So yeah. being able to actually interact with people and hanging out and have them bite to eat, drink and be merry. And I'm really looking run 5k. To exactly. Run a 5k with them. I'm definitely i uh, I'm in, let me know who wants to run a 5k. I'll run it with you. Yeah, don't walk. look for me at the starting line. I'll be, I'll be there somewhere, but don't look for me. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, uh, Steven, thank you. Thanks for joining us. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing you down in Orlando. And um, uh, I appreciate you taking the time. And for uh, everyone, everyone else, uh, stay tuned next week, week seven, counting down to Splash. Thanks for joining us.